Chicago Skyway was a 7.9 mile toll bridge that goes over the Calumet River and connected Chicago with essentially Gary, Indiana. It was conceived of uh, back in the 50s. Toll was a set at 25 cents a quarter to travel the Skyway. At that time, Chicago was really the headquarters of the Midwest economic activity, and those business leaders were interested in maintaining that leadership and having connectivity to other commerce across the country. The Skyway was originally financed by issuing revenue bonds. It was common to fund roads under that basis where users paid for the cost of the project over a period of time. The bonds that were originally issued, $101 million to finance the construction of this toll bridge. The original studies had projected that this would be a commercial artery, that it would be highly utilized by, by commercial vehicles as well as, as passenger vehicles. But it, it, it never really took off. It never carried the significant amounts of traffic that it was expected to carry. What really added to the uh, profound problems is the development of the Eisenhower Expressway system and the development of what is called the Dan Ryan now that goes to the Bishop Ford I-94 uh, that goes almost parallel to the Skyway. Competition from a freeway was about the worst thing that could ever happen to a toll road. Revenues fell off a cliff. And by only a couple years in, it basically went into uh, default. The bonds went into default. There wasn't enough money to pay the debt service on the bonds. When Rich Daly first came in, one of the deputy mayors on his own wrote a letter to the Illinois Tollway offering to sell the Skyway to the Illinois Tollway for a dollar. Within 30 days, there was a response letter back that said, we don't take anything that's in default. So they turned down the one dollar offer. The, the Tollway became a very difficult problem for the, for the city. And the city, in order to maintain it, had to rely on resources outside of the Skyway to basically maintain the roadway, fill the potholes, uh, do the bare essentials, you know, to keep the Skyway running. It remained in that condition for the next 30 years. By the mid-80s, there were more jobs, there were more businesses, and economic activity. More people moving to Indiana, more people needing to commute to Chicago. The traffic and congestion was increasing on all the highways, and therefore, there began to be a greater value in a, uh, in a trip that didn't have as much congestion. I think at that point, the city began to realize the real value of the Skyway. They were able to get current on the debt. They were able to issue additional debt. And so over the course of the next 10 years, the city was able to improve operations. Foreign investors said, now might be a good time for you to monetize this asset. If you don't think it's something you want to keep for the long term. Very few cities, if any, I mean, there's just a few in the world that actually own toll roads. Why do we need to own a toll road? Why can't we give it to somebody else and get a big check, frankly, get a lot of money, and let somebody else worry about the headaches of owning and operating the toll road? It's basically this public policy consideration. Now, okay, here's an opportunity, you know, to basically uh, deal with the Skyway, maybe take it off the books. So I started talking to one investment banker and we put together some numbers and, and tried to think, you know, how much would somebody pay for this if we, I we used to say sold uh, the, the Skyway. And then I go in to see the mayor about, you know, about doing it. Let's just say he didn't say no and he didn't say yes. And it probably took me another, quite a while to, several trips back to him and he uh, finally said okay so uh, we basically put a team together for the uh, I'll call it the sale of the Skyway leasing the Skyway I think there were two or maybe three proposals received by the city and in January of 2005 the city awarded a contract the lease arrangement for 1.8 billion dollars to a Spanish Australian consortium to own and operate this the Skyway for 99 years I remember the budget director John Harris he calls me and he's just like, he's, he's screaming on the phone, $1.8 billion, <laughs> $1.8 billion. I said to the bankers at Goldman Sachs who were conducting the auction, get that money in the bank very quickly. I think the city got a tremendous deal. They got an asset that was actually worth what they paid for it and more. It just took time to realize. And I think government sometimes over, we overlook the 
hidden value that often exists within big organizations or within big institutions of how important those assets really are. And P3's public-private partnerships have a unique way of being able to uncover and unleash that value and hopefully appropriately apply that value to meet our social goals and objectives.